I'm Margarita Taylor and I'm proud to be an ambassador for the Prince's Trust. There are so many young people in the UK, aged between 14 and 30, that are struggling to overcome problems with their lives. Young people who have been long-term unemployed, fallen out of the education system, got in trouble with the law or spent their lives in care. These are the young people that the Prince's Trust aims to help by enabling them to reach their full potential, not only for themselves and their communities, but for the nation. Last year, the Social Enterprise Unit commissioned the Prince's Trust to look at whether young people it works with are interested in social enterprise and what support they need to get involved. As part of this study, the Trust spoke to a lot of young people to find out what they thought. What became clear is that while young people might have the passion and capability to set up social enterprises, very few have even heard the term before, and those who have heard it find it difficult to understand. Several young people suggested that a short film should be made in which young people talked about the experiences that they had had when setting up social enterprises. This video is a response to this suggestion and also aims to show organisations working in the field what support young people need to get involved. Eve Horn and Jessica Farrah set up Continuous Entertainment in 2005 with the support of the Prince's Trust. It's a recording studio in Royal Arsenal that supports and encourages involvement in music to a whole range of people from their local community. We got funding from the Prince's Trust about a year and a half ago to start up. We basically opened a recording studio that's there for the community so we help people um, build their dreams basically and they come in and they can record vocal recording, band recording, we do um, track production. Yeah, that's the community side of things. On the commercial side of things we do things like sound to picture, post production, um, radio jingles, yeah, things like that. So we can do both. Obviously, as growing up, I've come from this area and I realised there was nothing for young people. And we really wanted to, as well as fulfil our own dreams, to help other people fulfil theirs. Wanna point five, that's a five R. If you want a grandma, that's a Ben R. Henry, yeah, for $20. Double that, now that's a daughter. The way we make money is basically by charging people um, on an hourly rate to use the studio. Um, we have a discounted rate for people that are students or on benefits, and then a commercial rate for regular users that Record are working. Record labels and yeah. stuff like that. When we started up, we didn't know what a social enterprise was at all. Um, we found out when we was writing our business plan for the Prince's Trust that we could become a social enterprise. And it seemed really good because we didn't want to be a charity. Um, because this is our dream, we didn't want to allow anyone to be able to take it away from us. And, and if you're a charity, you have a board and um, they kind of control everything. But we also didn't want to be an outright business as well because we wanted to help people. A social enterprise isn't a charity. It's and not, it's not a business. It's not a business um, as such. by shares. It's, it's basically a business that makes money, but the money that it makes gets put back into the business in order to better that service. See, I tried to find it, but I kind of like it. The Princess Trust offered uh, very good support to us when we started. Um, we also received legal advice from Lovells, which has been so helpful for us as a recording studio. We've actually signed artists with contracts that have been provided by Lovells. Alongside that, we also got a mentor from the Prince's Trust who, who met with us kind of monthly and gave us advice on how to progress with our business. She's a she -del. we plan to run a multimedia centre. Um, the council have approached us with an idea which is similar to an idea that we had and they're really keen to go ahead with it and because they've seen the good that we do here they want us to kind of front the project and be in control of it so that's in the near future. Um, on the production side of things obviously Jess and myself want to be producing well-known acts and have a franchise of these recording studios that can help other young people. The advice that we'd offer to other kind of young people that want to start up their business as we have is to have determination, passion and 
knowledge and skills within the area that you want to work in. And I try and get everything for free at the beginning, you know, haggle your way through deals and stuff like that. Like, to, in order for us to get our promotion and stuff like that, we made sure we had loads of articles in the newspapers and make sure you're doing something different that makes people aware that you're here. You know, and that what you have to offer is special so that you get more people coming. So, so have a strong USP, unique yeah. selling point, um, yeah. and be patient. Yes. It takes a while, but you'll get there if your idea is strong enough. Yeah, be determined and you'll succeed. <laughs> Transient Film Exchange is a group of young filmmakers based in London. Set up by brothers Ash and Naeem Mahmood, they provide young people with the opportunity to tell their story through film. They are currently producing their first feature film and are applying to become a community enterprise company. target um, people from refugee and asylum seeking communities simply because when we first set up which was about five years ago um, it was pretty much highlighted at most local authority levels that uh, there wasn't enough provision for this uh, group. Us um, as independent filmmakers you know our films are not just going to straight away get sold and you're going to make big bucks you know it's a learning process for us as well and in order to sustain the filmmaking and the training side of things. We do corporate DVDs, we do various sort of small documentaries for local councils. That money that's made through those videos, which are made by the young people, goes back into the organization to fund some of our feature film production. As we had a little bit of success, some of the films, uh, one film was shown on the BBC, another film was shown on ITV, um, another film that we did uh, was selected for the Berlin Film Festival and we even picked up an award at, at an international film festival. So those um, films started to take off. So rather than these young people just making these community videos or community films, we thought, hey, you know, we can, we can get these films out there into the mainstream and get these voices out there, you know, to, to a bigger audience. And that's where I think social enterprise came in, that not only would it stay on the grassroots level of um, doing community videos, but perhaps we could also turn it into a business and get these films out there in the mainstream and shake up the world. Just like me. Advice I give to young people is to have guts, a lot of self-belief. Because if you don't believe in yourself, then no one else is going to believe in you. And love yourself too. I said it before and I'll say it again. Life moves pretty fast. You don't stop and look around once in a while. You could miss it. 